Strasbourg have only managed one win since the start of the season, and that was at home to Lille back on week two. They welcomed high-flying Marseille to the Stade de la Meno on Sunday night, having only picked up two points in their last six outings and sitting 19th in the table. Rudy Garcia's OM, on the other hand, came into this one after three consecutive wins against Amiens, Toulouse and Nice. The visitors looking to keep that run going and move up to third place ahead of next weekend's highly anticipated clash against the leaders, Paris Saint-Germain. Well, Marseille certainly made the perfect start to the game. They took the lead after just six minutes after a well-worked team move, neatly finished off here by Dimitri Payet. Well, the French international was at the origin. Florian Tova, Clinton and G and Costas Mitroglou were all involved in the build-up. And Jordan Amavi provided the cross from out on the left-hand side. Payet sweeping home for his first goal of the campaign. However, the lead didn't last long. Strasbourg equalising on the half-hour mark. A neat ball from Kenny Lelar for Martin Terrier. Steve Mandanda with the first stop, but John Oud Aholo swept in the rebound with the help of a heavy deflection of Hiroki Sakai. Not a great deal that Mandanda could do about that one. Omarse well, could have gone back in front a few minutes later after Tovan fed a brilliant ball through to NG. From a Leon and Tottenham man rather snatching at that effort. Adil Rami was the next man to go close from a Payet corner. The France defender heading just over from close range. So pretty end to end stuff at the Menno then. And one goal apiece at half time. Marseille with a chance to go level on points with second place Monaco before taking on their rivals PSG next Sunday. Monaco's goal difference though far superior, so no real chance of getting up into second place. As Garcia's side got their noses in front again at the start of the second half. Morgan Sanson with the cross that was intended for Mitroglou, but the Greek striker didn't get a touch. Nevertheless, it ended up in the back of the net. Strasbourg captain at Bakary Kone getting the slightest of touches instead. That was perhaps enough to put off his goalkeeper, Bingaru Kamara. The host didn't give up, though, continuing to forge forward. Terrier, the France under-21 international, forcing a good stop there from Mandanda. And the equaliser arrived just after the hour mark. Kone making up for that earlier Sanson goal as he headed in Dimitri Lienard's corner. That to make it 2-2 in the 61st minute. Now 15 minutes from time, Lienard went from maker to taker as Strasbourg took the lead for the very first time in the game. Shot from distance. Once again, it took a handy deflection, this time off Adil Rami. Goal number two of the season for Lienard. That was 3-2. And then arrived perhaps the key moment in the game. Lienard for Anthony Gonsalves, but somehow Stefan Bauerkan Failed to score with the goal mouth gaping. Terrier then missed the follow-up. And what a chance that was for Strasbourg to all but seal victory. Somehow the ball staying out. And they were left to rue that opportunity as Marseille rescued a point two minutes from time. Marvi's effort spilled by Kamara and Mitroglou slotting home the rebound. Opening his account on his Liga and Conferama debut. Onside as the replay shows and adding to his three goals for Greece in the recent international break. A nice six-goal thriller to round out week nine. Strasbourg remain in the relegation zone while Marseille fourth, 3-3 the final score.